Okay, if they made if they made if they made a if they made an actual adaptation to that shit and put like Hollywood actors in it instead of like actresses, who would it be? Tom Cruise would be Ryuko. Who would be who would be the best Satsuki? I think it would be funny if they did Nicolas Cage as Satsuki and uh, like Simon Pegg as Mako. Or no, Zach Galifianakis as Mako. That would be fucking hilarious. <laughs> hey, welcome to the stream, guys. We're currently talking about anime while we're playing our uh, virgin hardcore run-through here. This is a virgin run-through with a demon hunter. Uh, no help from any other higher level uh, higher level hardcore characters on the account, solo only, so Oh shit. This is a This is a This is a place here. Why Simon Pegg? You think you think Simon Pegg would be more better at or better at random than Zach Galifianakis? Because I feel like Zach Galifianakis is the king of Hollywood random. You know what I mean? We've found the key to the ancient device, but I fear that these treasures will cost us our lives. At least my brother and I have made it this far, and we are still alive. Dare we use this machine? I think Zach Galifianakis as giant bearded Mako having a possible sex relationship with Ryuko, aka Tom Cruise, would be fucking hilarious. <laughs> So was that it? And tooth marks in every bone. None hmm. of these animals died naturally. The grass road of this land was an oasis of surpassing beauty once. A great magical battle. So Who would play Gamaguri? Who would be funny as Gamaguri? Like it's gotta, it's gotta be some bad actor wrestler dude. Like imagine, like the Undertaker as Teenage Kamigori. <laughs> I would get a fucking kick out of that. That would be hilarious. Our kind possessed power unmatched in this dreary age. With the Soul Stone, I will be able to elevate myself to the strength. It would to You know what? You're right. It would totally be The Rock, but that wouldn't be funny to me. No wait, Gamaguri is a dude, so it would have to be some big chick. What if they got China? What if they took China out of whatever early grave she's laying in? <laughs> With her giant man hands and man penis and made her play Gamaguri. <laughs> I would get a laugh out of that. I would get a fucking laugh out of that. Or who's another? Who's that fat chick that keeps appearing in comedies now? What's her name? That would be fucking funny. Frozen! Shit! Oh man, I can't believe I missed all of those. Oh god, don't say those bad words. You're a bad word man. Yui, I don't want to think about giant clits. That's inappropriate. <laughs> What a strange conversation we are having this morning. This is goddamn strange. Oh shit, shit's going crazy. Alright, let's jump through here. Jumping through hoops, jumping through hoops. Okay, we've got to find blood, which means you got to get down to the next level here. So we gotta find the door to the next level. And I feel like I've been on autopilot in this game for a little while now. Which is fine, but I mean... There's not really much to say about the game right now. I mean, we're just running through a fucking cave looking for shit. Nothing too exciting besides gameplay and the possibility of death at every turn. Alright, so it's not that way, so it's down that way. It's 
did a giant feckin' loop. Son of a bitch! Fucking ejaculating wall, ass, ass, wall. Bullshit. Sick of your bullshit. Explosions! Tony, what's the best primary skill for getting, uh, getting a hatred up really, really quickly? Is there an entangle rune that increases mana? I don't think there is. Yeah. No. Bad. Bad rock one. Fucking giant tentacle monsters coming out of the ground. No, thank you. Saint Japan. Thunderbolt is our entanglement. Let's take a look at entangling shot here. Entangle and slow up to four. Increased damage. Slow. Increased hatred. Is that the one you use? I'm guessing that's the one you use. Increase the slow amount, that's kind of cool. There's the Thunder Bolas. Yeah, the Thunder Bolas have been pretty good. I don't know, I just don't, I don't like the delayed damage on the Bolas. I don't like the fact that it takes additional time after firing it to cause the damage. And granted it does a wider area of attack than uh, this fucking grenade does. I don't know. Blow them up, blow them up, kill them all, blow them up, ham sandwich. Oh, here we go. Finally gave us an arrow. We're just going to skip through that area there. Got anything for the follower? Nothing really. Oh, man. That's all really good for him. Is any of that shit good for me? Yes! I didn't even know I picked that shit up. Uh, oh, that's better for him. Sweet. Happiness. Oh man, I get stuck in a slow field. Those spiders in their slow field. They don't do much damage, but... Uh, they sure can catch you in a tight spot if you're not careful. Good news is I'm the carefulest and the strongest. I'm immediately going to die now that I've talked shit. I've talked myself up. That's what's gonna happen. Man, I've been level 46 for a while now. Really need to complete this damn quest here. This way, bitter, bitter, bitty do. Shit's going down. Shit's not cool, bros. Oh wow! Oh wow! Oh, that was bad. I was taking some serious damage there. There we go. Man, that could have been bad. Oh, hey guys, thanks for joining us. Uh, this is a virgin hardcore run through, so no help from super high level guys, and we're running it solo, so. We might die. If we die, that's the end of the stream. <laughs> so, yeah. Please enjoy. Please enjoy my possible eventual death. Man, I can't see shit. Oh, shit. This is a bad place to not be able to see shit. Shit, 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 shit. not be wise. Oh, God. Yeah. Very happy I didn't die there. <laughs> I thought I was going to get caught up for a second there. 
Like I burnt my discipline way too quickly. And that led to a dire situation where I couldn't vault out of the way. Yeah, kill him. Alright, so in the story we're currently looking for Zoltan Kool's blood so we can resurrect him so that he can build us a god thing that we can use to kill all the bad guys. That's really what it boils down to. I hate to be just like, duh, stupid game stuff, but yeah. Not exactly the most complicated story uh, here in this uh, Diablo game. Just kind of contrive plot devices to give you an opportunity to do more cool stuff, I guess. Man, this character feels so slow. And I know it isn't. I know the character's moving at a normal speed, and I'm just used to characters with, like, super fast, like, increased movement speed spells and stuff like that. But, uh... I don't know. It just feels slow to me. I guess to somebody who doesn't play this game often or hasn't seen much about this game, this is just normal, but... Yeah. I'm gonna whine about it because I'm a no, bastard. I will not do that. You can't stop me, because you're not my dad. You can't tell me what to do. Ooh, treasure goblin. That is impossible. Oh wow, treasure goblin right at the end of the dungeon too. Yeah, we got him. Treasure goblins always drop pretty awesome stuff. Like that's pretty good. Um I don't know if I want to take the hit to health, but uh if I decide I want to switch over to it, it's always there. Alright, so I wonder what's going to happen when we press this thing here. Nothing happened. Oh, wait, there we go. They spawned a couple stupid-ass skeletons. Oh, no, skeletons are scary. Sweet, let's run through here. Alright, so now we've done the cool guy thing, and now My we can go do the story stuff. The tip of the desolate sands. Aw, oh, damn, I wasn't supposed to go back to town. I was supposed to just immediately go to his stupid hideout thing. Budget. There, that. Unsocket and then salvage. Move. There it is. Bam. I, uh... When I first started this game, I would save all the stuff I thought was good in my stash. And I very quickly found out that that is the, not the best way to uh, handle your stash, because then you run out of items really quickly. Um, I found that the best way to handle uh, keeping items is if they are legendary or green, hold on to them. <coughs> and then, oh wow, I got a vault challenge. And then anyways, get rid of them as one character uses them because there's no way they're going to be good for another character. When you pick up a legendary item, Here is the it, uh, it actually rolls the stats based on the what would be best for your character. So if you're playing like a wizard, it'll roll intelligence and stuff like that on the legendary item. And while it still may be beneficial for other characters, for instance, other characters that I don't like uh, stack intelligence and use intelligence as their primary stat, uh, long term, it's not the best to keep stuff like that around. Simply because, I mean, you're you're not gonna you're not gonna grab. Uh, uh, I guess I should listen to this. I am doing a stream through, whatever you want to call it. Anyways, you know, if you, if you have a, a good ring that stacks intelligence and then you put it on a barbarian, it's not going to be nearly as good as something you could pick up within your game. And even if there are short-term benefits, it's better long-term to uh, just stick to what you grab in the game and then really kind of save your stuff for set items and items that have other bonuses besides stats and random magic properties. ...not to eliminate all of mankind. Only one vote. And I'm sure somebody in the stream can tell me why I'm goddamn wrong about that. And I appreciate